Introduction to SendGen The concept of using software to test other software makes a lot of sense, but those who try it quickly run into two problems. The first problem is automated testing scripts are very brittle, especially when the interface changes as part of a software upgrade or new version. Adding a new screen or even changing a button's name or location can break all of the test scripts that encounter those changes. And if the amount of time taken to maintain or re-record those scripts exceeds the amount of time it takes to manually test the software in the first place, then the purpose of test automation has been defeated. The second problem is that real-world operators find defects that professional testers miss. There are several reasons for this. A. Professional testers are highly structured in their approach to testing. Operators are not. B. Professional testers make certain assumptions about what actions make sense and what operators will do. But real operators have a high level of randomness and ad hoc behavior in their actions. And finally, C. Professional testers are subject to human error, budget, and time constraints, and thus cannot anticipate or execute every test. Operators find bugs that testers miss. Over many years of testing mission-critical software, we have overcome these problems with real-world proven solutions. First, we have a test automation framework that can adapt to application changes with as little as 5% maintenance. And second, we've developed a scenario generator product called SendGen that actually thinks of all the possible tests. This product will work with your existing commercial off-the-shelf testing tools such as HP's QuickTest Pro as seen in this video. In this video you will see the SendGen technology being applied to Northrop Grumman's command and control product called the Agile Client. SendGen's runtime has been throttled to a speed that matches the performance of the Agile Client. In this demonstration you will notice two speeds. There's a human speed for analog actions such as turning the globe or using drag and drop controls and a 20 times human speed for the remainder of the tests that will automatically manipulate all elements of the application. This includes tick boxes, menus, drop downs, scroll bars and slider bars. To demonstrate SendGen's ability to detect a defect we intentionally inserted an error by setting 7 as the expected result for the maximum dead reckoning time. Now as you can see in the video on the right hand side of the plot options screen, the max DR value is set to 8, not 7. The pause in the video indicates that SendGen has detected this difference and is automatically generating a defect report. As this test ends, we drill down to the defect report, which displays the error, including a screenshot of the incorrect area, highlighted within the purple box. To further demonstrate the flexibility of SendGen, we placed an icon in the 3D space on the globe, zoomed out of the globe to center the icon, and create a clear black background. Then we compared the icon to a previously placed icon. SendGen can compare and detect changes in both graphics and colors. The test result here shows that the icon was not the one expected, and even shows the negative of the overlaid images. In this last section, we show a simple SendGen model for adding or removing elements from the globe. As we run the SendGen engine, it constructs 480 test scenarios in just 5 seconds. In another example, SendGen generated 1.8 million scenarios in 10 minutes. With SendGen, the cost and effort of testing is reduced to just computing time through automation, rather than human labor. The point is that SendGen allows your test team to run all tests, all the time, on every build to catch all the defects. Please get in touch with us if you have an interest in learning more about the SendGen capability.